so fresh and so clean. Well, this is the cleanest this bike has been for the last three weeks. We are now based in Alicante, doing a couple of rides here. We got the bikes all nice and clean, and we're preparing to go on a very windy bike ride. Oh, the bike is so much faster. This is way better. I'm never riding with bags on again. Sunday morning in Alicante, which means even quieter than usual on the roads. We're out for a little spin without our bags on the bikes, which is really nice. My brakes work really well. Oh yeah. But really well. And it is very strange getting out of the saddle because your bike just goes crazy and does what it wants. Like most rides from this city, we are going uphill all the way to halfway and then downhill all the way home. Not like the last one you planned, is it? It's not gonna kill me. I'm tapering off. In this video, I was gonna talk a little bit, considering we've reached the point of riding Point no return. <laughs> Point of no return? Why have I chosen here to film this? I have now, since getting this bike, ridden a thousand miles officially. So, I was gonna talk a bit about how it performed. It's flat here, Francis, you're all right. But maybe I'll wait until the ride is over, or at least until we've got to the top of this hill. Yeah. You probably clicked this video because you want to know stuff about the road to group set. So let's talk about the road to group set. A lot of you will have seen this in previous episodes, but just to recap, this is the Rota 1x12, not the Rota Uno, that's the version before. It does say 1x13 on it because it can be converted to the 13 speed version if you're using the right hub which is only currently built into rotor wheels or you'd have to get it laced up yourself. So I'm using the 12 speed version. It's a completely hydraulic group set. So hydraulic discs, which are seen on lots of bikes, but also hydraulic shifting, which means it feels very different to use to a normal cabled group set or an electric one. I've been running a 42 ring on the front and an 1136 cassette on the back. We've been riding with bags on our bikes for the last few weeks. My bike has been extremely heavy. The gearing has just about been usable. When it got to about 15% gradient or more, it started to become a bit of a struggle. Without bags on, the ride today, completely fine. Although I would say, if you're newer to cycling and you don't have as much time to ride, and you might still be making improvements in your fitness, you might want to go with an easier gear, so a smaller chain ring or slightly bigger cassette. Reliability, spelt relia, abila, teasers. I was very impressed. I didn't miss a shift. Did I miss a shift? Didn't drop my chain? No. Nope. Didn't churn the gears? No. Nope. It was all absolutely perfect and I was pleasantly surprised. It works, a run seal. Does what it says on the tin. Yeah. It doesn't come in a tin, it comes in a cardboard box. That's what it says on the cardboard box. There are some fairly mixed reviews of this group set online. A lot of them mention the shifting and how it feels to shift and how it's not really a defined click, which you'd usually get with the existing popular group set manufacturers. It definitely took me a couple of rides to get used to, but now I've got the knack for it. It's been absolutely flawless. Now with the shifting, there is one thing that I think we both feel is worth mentioning, which is when we were at altitude, like really high in the mountains, my gears seem to index very slightly differently. I'm guessing this is because of the pressure. We noticed it being consistently different at the top of the mountains compared to the bottom. And then when we slept at altitude and rode the next day, it seemed to have fixed itself and it was completely fine. Perhaps there's a small bubble in the system and it needs a bleed, but uh, further testing needs to be done. Bit of an unusual experience, but didn't ruin the ride. And I think we need to look more into it to work out why. Sometimes people's complaints with one bite is that they are quite noisy. Our chains got pretty dirty over the course of the ride, uh, but there wasn't any excess noise from my system uh, any more than Chris's, which was also dirty and two by. Braking performance was absolutely perfect, especially with the loaded bike. You do notice uh, when you don't have the stopping power and it was absolutely fine. They're both 160 rotors, front and rear, so that's why they're so strong, uh, but made it in collaboration with Magura and really, really impressed. Now, the one small but negative, I managed to wear 
the hoods. I don't know if you can see. See, we were doing a lot of climbing, a lot of stuff out of the saddle where I was a bit undergeared, and I've actually managed to rub away the material on the hood. This is quite soft rubber, uh, but it's only happened on the right hand one. It's probably due to the way I hold the handlebars. Um, but yeah, I feel like that wouldn't have happened on the Shimano hoods because they're a little bit thicker and not sticky feeling. Overall, very happy with how it performed. I was a little bit apprehensive because it's such a new and unusual thing. But yeah, it's gonna be staying on my bike for the foreseeable future. And I'm excited to give it a bit more of a test without bags on and, you know, really see how this frame performs over the next few days in Calpe. You okay, Chris? Yeah, well, no, because we're going home, but yeah. Home is where the heart is, apparently. I do miss home. Yes, I do. I feel like we've been away for a long, long, long time. When we go home, it'll be summer. Of course, it's not. It's full, full spring we're on at home, I think. What? It's full spring. You never heard of that? It's the spring that's not actually spring. That means we have really nice weather for like a couple of weeks and it suddenly gets really shit again. But right now, I'm packing a bike. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. Chain ring that I'm using is a Q ring and it's the first time I've used an oval chain ring in a long, long time. After about five minutes of riding, I basically didn't notice it was there. Um, and that's still how I feel now. So not the most comprehensive review of a Q ring. Round chain rings feel nice. This one feels nice. It feels round now. Looks cool. Looks cool. So glad I don't have to carry your iPad anymore. You pack it away? Yeah. Yeah.